Hello and welcome to another edition of the Computer Connectors video channel. Today we're going to be talking about easy ways to learn more about the hardware and software in your computer. This information is important especially as you evaluate options for upgrading, repairing, or even replacing your computer. In fact, your, your favorite computer technician should ask for or even personally retrieve the information we're going to look at today uh, before making any advice on upgrades or replacement for your computer. So let's get started. In this video, I'm going to show you four easy ways to retrieve this information. And uh, the first one is uh, perhaps the most basic and showing you all the different software applications that are installed on your computer. So to, to find this little tool, we're going to go down to our Start button here in the bottom left corner. And we're going to go here to the Control Panel. Now the Control Panel is, is a place where we can find many different options for changing the settings within your computer. In this case, we're just going to look at which programs and software applications are going to be installed or that are installed on your computer. So I'm going to click Programs and Features. This may take a couple of seconds, uh, but as it finishes populating this window, we can then so use the scroll bar on the right side to scroll down through the list to see all of the different software applications and programs that are installed on your computer. You notice that I, that I have quite a few applications installed here and uh, this might be one place where I can even uh, add or uninstall applications if I chose to do that. Moving on to a simple tool for looking at the hardware on your computer, uh, we're just going to do that by again going down to our Start button, clicking on the Start button, and this time I'm going to right click using the right mouse button on the button called Computer. So once I right click on Computer and hit Properties, this is going to show me just a couple of basic items uh, regarding the hardware on your computer. Notice that I have a processor here, and it's an AMD Ethylon processor. Uh, the other option that you might find is that it is an Intel processor, and those are the two most common processor manufacturers uh, for the Windows platform, AMD and Intel. So most likely you're going to see one of those two. Installed memory. In this case, I have 3.5 gigabits of gigabytes of memory. Sorry for that. Uh, 3.5 gigabytes of memory, and those are really just the two options that we're going to see here for uh, the hardware in your computer. But in a lot of cases, that's all you need to know when you're talking to a technician to at least get them started on making some recommendations for you. There are two more two more tools that I'm going to show you, but they provide a whole host of, uh, of additional information over, over what we've seen so far. Uh, the first of those tools is called DXDiag. And so again, going down to my friendly start button here and clicking on my start button. But this time, I'm going to type in DXDiag.exe. Again, DXDiag.exe. Now when I hit enter here, it's going to bring up that little tool for me. And as it populates, you'll see by the scrolling bar down here, uh, I can also look at the system tab here and see that, again, I have an AMD processor, uh, how much memory I have installed. It even shows me uh, the BIOS version that I have on my computer and the manufacturer as well. Um, much more information on these other tabs that you can look at. Um, Probably not so much interested in that unless you're a, a gamer or someone who does a lot of video applications. Um, and in that case, you might see uh, some useful information under this display tab, as well as the sound tab might be of interest to you as well. If you want to send the information that you found here to your favorite technician, you can easily do that by clicking on this Save All Information button here down at the bottom of the window. Once I do that, it's going to ask me, first of all, where do I want to save this information? I'm just going to save it to my desktop, and I'm just going to give it a name, and I can choose any name, really about any name that I want. Uh, I've already done this, so I'm just going to hit Cancel here. Uh, you would otherwise hit Save. Once I hit Cancel, I go back, and I look, can look at that information. Notice again that there's a lot of information here, but what we're most interested in is this information at the very top of the screen. Uh, information that I showed you on that that uh, window, uh, information like processor, memory, BIOS, all that good stuff, um, mostly at the top of this 
of this file though is what you're interested in and be able to send that to your favorite technician uh, you can send this file by email another tool and the final tool that I'm going to show you today and one which shows you a whole lot more information than even this last one is called MS Info 32 to look at that tool I'm going to again click on that start button type in MS Info 32.exe again MS Info 32.exe hit the enter button and once that comes up it may take a few seconds for it to do so um, but on this summary system summary uh, screen over here I'm going to see not only the information we've seen so far but a whole host of additional information that the other tools didn't show us even going down to seeing such things as what time zone my computer is set to so a lot of information there uh, if I wanted to dive a lot deeper I could do that by going over here on the left side and expanding out these little uh, uh, folders here um, I'm not going to dive into what is in each of those uh, but what might be interesting in some cases is maybe for instance you want to know what kind of display adapters in your computer so you click on display and it will tell you which display adapters on there um, you might want to click on sound device to see what kind of sound device you have and so it's possible to see a lot of information about your computer most relevant however is probably this information on the system summary screen uh, and finally just like the last tool if you click on the file menu and click on export we can export all of the information that this tool found into a text file which you can then send to your favorite technician so that they can you know, help you give some help give you some good advice on uh, on upgrading repairing maybe even replacing your computer uh, just like the last tool if I bring up the resulting text file there again most of the information you're going to be interested in is at the very top of that file and uh, that would be the information that uh, your tech is going to be looking for as well so again I thank you for joining me here today on the computer connectors video channel and I invite you again to uh, see us with other topics on the same channel everything from Windows to Microsoft Office and if you like this video please uh, click on the liked link so that other people can easily find it and we wish you a, a great day and join us again